What's going on YouTube? My name is FG3000. I'm back in the place to be and welcome back to the pre-register for the month of February. Let's go ahead and jump right into it. Starting off with Dark Nemesis Infinite Quest, a 3D journey through the multiverse. Dude, is Doctor Strange here? No, it's not him. <laughs> um, looks like, you know, your typical, yeah, here we go. Mobile MMO. Yeah, sorry, sorry mobile MMOs. Uh, Lost Ark is here, so I think we're a little busy. Um, who's making this game? Newverse? Yeah, that's probably gonna be another one to add to the pile. Um, we have Brave Soul Frozen Dungeon. Okay, dude, this is like a Paladin, like Paladin uh, Burning Crusade tier two gear, if I remember correctly. Darkness is coming. All right, the game is trying really, really hard to absolutely show zero gameplay, so I think we know where that game is going. But look at this, Harry Potter Magic Awakening. I really like the art style they went with, right? They didn't go like super ultra cartoony. It's like a nice mix between cartoony and maybe something a little bit more uh, adult, in my opinion. Explore Hogwarts. Dude, yeah, the art style is fantastic. So it looks like it's gonna have like a card game mechanic. You know, throw out cards, you know, do AOE attacks, summons, things of that nature, build up mana. Interesting, interesting. Brew some potions, battle creatures. So that's good. I was looking at the screen. I was hoping that it wasn't only PvP, um, but it looks like there's also going to be some PvE as well. So that looks really good. Join a house. So we're going to have guilds. Yeah, the art style is really good. I like the art style quite a bit. And it looks like there's going to be some mini games as well as you play Quidditch. So this one looks like something to put on your radar. Finally, we have a, a decent game to look forward to. Um, so let's make note. So far, so so far in the month of February, February, March, I should say, um, the hypest game is going to be Harry Potter Magic Awakening so far. Warner Brothers, eh, I guess we'll see. Um, Diablo Immortal, still nothing. Now, some people might think the window is starting to close with Lost Ark being out, but as a person that mains Lost Ark right now, I would still love to play Diablo because there's time that I don't want to be sitting at my computer chair. I'd love to play a game like this on the couch or in the bed when I wake up before I go to sleep. I'm still here for you, Diablo Immortal. I'll be waiting. <laughs> Idol Huntresses. So I did a sponsored video on Idol Huntresses. It's an idol game with some lewd art. All right, like, hold on, look at this. You guys see this? Um, this art right here is all censored. Everything you see in this screenshot right here is all censored. But let me tell you, the version that you guys are gonna play once you're in game is not censored. So imagine all these outfits but a lot more risque, okay? Um, so that's that's the that's the feature of Idol Hunter. Says not the gameplay, not anything else. It's just really the art and the live 2D. Like I said, is actually pretty good. Um, if you guys haven't noticed, I'm actually doing this pre-register on my cell phone um, to make sure we get all of the games. Um, Chromatic Souls AFK Raid, another Idol game. Yep, looks. It looks quite dated already. Not even out yet, and it already looks dated. Who, who's bringing us this game? Who is bringing us Chromatic Souls AFK Raid? Com to US Holdings Corporation. Dude, what happened to Com to US, man? They used to be that company, but now not anymore. Uh, what is this? Uh, Grow Archer Chaser. We covered this in the last one. A little idol game, solo character idol game where you know you power up your one character, get them new weapons and outfits. Um, but that's pretty much it. Um, yeah, dime a dozen. No, not for me. Um, Guns Up Mobile. I played this game years and years ago, so it always felt like a mobile game. Looking forward to playing this bad boy on mobile. I'm definitely going to be covering that once it comes out. Um, solid game, and hopefully um, they've had you know a lot of refinements over the years to make it even better because they've had time. Um, Chronicles of Infinity. Um, this looks like kind of like an arena-based action RPG, not really an MMO because I don't see any auto button or anything like that. Um, so this might be more reminiscent to like maybe 100 Souls or something like that, a little bit more competitive. Um, yeah, it looks like, you know, more of an arena-based action RPG brawler. Throw another genre in there, FG. <laughs> Strategy. <laughs> puzzle Quest 3, Match 3. So I'm not a big puzzle Match 3 type of player at all, um, but you rarely see these games in landscape. Like 99% of the time, these things are in portrait. So for that, mo for that alone, that one feature, I'll probably go ahead and give that bad boy a download and give it a try, because uh, landscape. <laughs> uh, maybe pro uh, pro uh, match three players are like, dude, Porch is the way to play match three. You might be right, but I still want landscape. Um, we have Valkyrie Rush here, one of these little mergy games. These games are an absolute money sink. For whatever reason, they love putting multiple subscriptions in these games, right? Like the last one I saw had, you know, if you added up all the weekly and monthly subscriptions, it was like over $100 a month just to play a game like that. No, thank you. No way. So next up, we have Jade Dynasty, a new fantasy. A fantasy world is waiting. All right, continuing the Jade Dynasty tale. 
the Bioware J Dynasty? Which which J Dynasty are you talking about? <laughs> um, graphics, eight major eight major sex. Let's see, new combat system. Uh, I highly doubt it's a new combat system. Who's bringing us Perfect World? Oh, dude, this is just this is literally just Perfect World reskinned. <laughs> I knew it looked familiar. I was like, what is this? No, dude, it's literally just Perfect World reskinned. I highly, highly doubt they even put a new combat system in there. Tracksuit Hero AFK, yet another AFK idol game experience. Oh my goodness, zombie virus. I think it's an on rails shooter, but if it's not on rails, it looks, you know, decent enough um, for a mobile game. Minion Masters right there next to Diablo Immortal as one of the longest running pre-register games. One day we might play it. I feel like I have to play it now just for like, <laughs> just for completionist sake. We gotta like finish the saga of Minion Masters. Um, DC Heroes and Villains. So, portrait match three game with DC characters. There you go. All right. Harley Quinn's looking cool. Superman looks fine. Match three brought to you by Ludia Inc. Um, who is still running all these Jurassic games. They're still running this Ninja Turtles game, even though it hasn't been updated in over like three years. Literally, this game has not been updated in like three years. The only thing they do is just recycle the events on a loop. That's it. That's it. And it still makes money. <laughs> so sometimes I wonder why game companies shut uh, games down because Ludia sure doesn't. So here we go. What is this? I think we looked at this before. Merging, yep. Merch games make so much money, dude. I have a lot of friends in real life. Do you, FG? <laughs> I got a lot of friends in real life, man. Believe me. <laughs> um, that would classify themselves as non-gamers, yet they make, the, or yet they play a lot of uh, merge dragons and merge elves and merge fantasy games. They, they absolutely love those games. Um, so those make a ton of money. Um, looking at these, these screenshots, and I talked about this in the last video, looking at the screenshots, I'm not super excited about Dino Clash, um, but it is brought to you by NeoWiz. So I'll give it a try just based off of that. Um, sometimes I give like, you know, I want to give the company a chance to wow me, right? Uh, I feel like NeoWiz wouldn't throw out a game that was terrible, right? <laughs> Idol Iron Knight. Yet another Idol game, my friend. So many Idol games, so little time. Like literally, so, so little time. There's just not enough time in the world for all these idle games. Well, I guess technically there is because you can just idle them all at the same time. I digress. Rise of Stars, this is gonna be a quintessential city builder, empire builder, galaxy builder with anime waifus and such. Um, yeah, I'm gonna play it <laughs> just for a day or two. Blade Idol. Dude, 2022, 2021, end of 2021 and the beginning of 2022 is the years of idle. Just so many idol games. This is another solo character idol game where, you know, you have that one character, power them up, give them new weapons, new outfits, use your meat to do tornado uppercuts against chickens and beat the eggs out of them. <laughs> Something you've always wanted to do, I'm sure. <laughs> Merge Skyland. Yeah, dude, mobile looks like it's on, it's uh, it's just cruising right now. It doesn't look like they're trying very hard when it comes to mobile games at the moment. Just merging and idling, merging and idling, and then out of nowhere from like, you know, five years ago, they're tower defending. So they're merging, they're idling, and they're tower defending. This is like mobile 2015 all over again, although I do like nostalgia tower defense. I'm probably still gonna play that. Um, my Darkest Moment, an adventure game brought to you by Chili Room. Um, my Darkest Moment clock rotates we keep walking ball bounces so do our illusions Ooh, dude imprisoned in a circle until stars shooting across but we are still light years apart dude wow dude it's sunday it's super bowl sunday i'm supposed to be in a good mood that made me so sad <laughs> uh, i guess we'll play that island crossing island crossing Nah, we good. <laughs> we ain't gonna cross that one. Uh, we have Dual Blader Idol RPG. Say Idol one more time, FG. I'm not trying to on purpose, I promise. Yeah, solo character, Idol RPG, side-scrolling brawler. Play dress up with weapons and outfits. Uninstall the game in about a week. There you go. Uh, Lost Shadow Dark Knight. Another one of these shadow side-scrolling action RPG brawlers. Um, these games are quite popular. There's a dozen on the, a dozen of them on the Play Store already, um, and they all play quite well. So um, I think this will probably be a fine experience. So Lost Shadow, Dark Knight. Another game I'm looking forward to here in February, March is Exorcist and Island. Um, this is based on a webtoon. Yep, based on a very popular webtoon, I should say. Um, so looking forward to playing this one. Why not? Um, four characters on the board. Okay, 1.5 speed. Ooh. <laughs> Dude, don't give me 1.5. Give me at least two, 2.5, 3. 
something. I like the raid bosses here. Very good. Big wide open arena here fighting a big a raid boss in the center. That looks pretty good. I wonder if there's going to be any co-ops. There goes an auto repeat there, so that's a little lame. Hopefully this bad boy works on emulator because I do not like playing auto repeat. I don't even really like playing auto repeat games as a whole these days, but especially not on my phone, dude. I got some Reddit to do. I got Instagram to scroll through. I got things to do that are really important on my phone. <laughs> Blood Knight Idol RPG. Idol. Idol, Idol, AFK. Idol, Idol, AFK. This one couldn't even be bothered to translate the screenshots. They couldn't even be bothered. Like, dude, we know this game's gonna shut down in a month or two after we launch it in global. We ain't gonna waste any time, any of our budget um, translating screenshots. We ain't got time for that. The Ancestral Legacy. Okay. Okay, these look like some sad boy picks. All right, <laughs> don't know what to say about that one. Um, Dark Eden M on Mix. Hack and Slash, unlimited battlefield between vampires and slayers. Vampirize, Vam vampirize, vampirize. Okay, a deadly vampire specialized in PvP. I see. A symbol slayer who demonstrates power through co-op battles. I see as well. Annihilate until only one race survives. Dude, a race war? Is that what you're trying to do here, guys? Uh, endless battle to gain the blood bibles. Dude, this game is edgy, bloody, vampire-y. Trying real hard to disguise the gameplay in the background. It, this screen actually looks kind of interesting though, because there's something going on. It looks like you're like in a hospital, like psych ward or something. That like that screenshot kind of like gets my attention a little bit. The rest not so much, but a little bit. Another match three game, easy to play, beautiful card RPG system, waifus, match three in. Um, but at least uh, there's a lot of like combat on the screen. It looks like they lowered the size or reduced the size of the match three aspect to make the waifus and the enemies bigger. You know what? I appreciate it. Looks good. Um, the Secret of Cat Island looks like a nice, I like the art style here. So I guess, you know, if you are hunkering for a Farmville type of experience with a pretty interesting art style, nice, clean, you know, little palette there. It looks like some Hello Kitty action there as well. I mean... Not for everybody. This one right here, dude. I gotta think about it. Which game is gonna be the hypest game in February, March? Is it Harry Potter or is it NJPW Strong Spirits? <laughs> Authentic entrances. Big fight, you feel it in your hands. Dude, I love feeling a big fight in my hands. This is great. Actual match footage in full motion video gameplay. Sega CD, you're coming back in 2022. I can't wait. <laughs> Dude, real graphics, real matches, real excitement. All right, this is the number one game I'm looking forward to right here. I'm really confused though. So actual full motion video gameplay. Actual full motion video gameplay. And there are multiple wrestlers you can see here. There's multiple wrestlers. Dude, think about this for a second, right? So you got wrestler A versus wrestler B and wrestler A body slams wrestler B, right? So they had to film that. Then they have to film wrestler B body slamming wrestler A back. So they filmed that. But then check this out. What about wrestler C and D and E and F? And then they all have to body slam each other. How many how many takes and how much footage is that? Dude, you might want to just make some polygons or something. <laughs> this sounds like it's more work, uh, but I can't actually wait. I want to play this a lot, dude. NJPW Strong Spirits. That is the game. That is my pick of the video right there. <laughs> um, Paradise Lost, a little Husbando romance. You love to see. Um, hide and Seek, the only reason I'm interested in this one is because the art style looks kind of interesting. Um, but probably won't cover that one. Maybe on the Facebook, we'll take a look at that one. And if it's good enough, it'll make the cut to the YouTube. Um, Dreamy Clovertown, Husbando, Farmville action. So there you go, my friends. February 2022, I should say. Off to kind of a slow start. There's not a lot of hot titles out right now. I am looking forward to NJPW Strong Spirits for like meme purposes. Harry Potter does look good. Um, Exorcist and Island, I don't have a lot of high hopes for. Game Pub. I don't even know who Game Pub is. They make Princess Tales, some clicker games. Yeah, I don't really have a lot of high hopes for it. Art style looks fine. You know, the subject matter looks good, but I don't really have a high like high hopes for it. So really, we're just looking at Harry Potter, and that's about it. So, you know, you look back on this year so far, we had Ace, which I think was a pretty decent game. Um, the new My Hero Academia Ultra Impact, I think is pretty good. And then maybe this Harry Potter game will be fine, um, but not a lot of high profile releases right now on mobile, but hopefully it picks up eventually. Hopefully, uh, I guess we'll see. Dude, one thing I don't see, how come I don't see, uh, 
how come on my pre-register, the whole reason why I'm doing this on my phone is to make sure I get all the games. This one didn't even pop up. Um, so Eden's Zero Pocket Galaxy is another game I'm really looking forward to because it's brought to you by Fairy Tale, dude. Happy's in this game. L well, hold on. There's a, I don't know, it might be the real Happy, I'm not sure, but there's a bootleg Lucy, a bootleg Gray, a bootleg Wendy. Dude, even though it's by Konami, I still want to play it. Look at bootleg Lucy, Happy and Gray. <laughs> Dude, that's awesome. All right, I really can't wait. This is the game I'm looking forward to the most, uh, but I'm a little biased because I absolutely love fairy tale, and this looks like it's gonna be the closest to a fairy tale game I'll be getting anytime soon. So be on the lookout for that one. Definitely pre register for Eden Zero's Pocket Galaxy. So that will do it, my friends. My name is FG3000. Thank you a ton for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.